Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I should have known that some of you would test out this. Like an idiot, I just assumed that Battlegrounds was possible to be matched up by progression title. So, uh, I've only done one Battlegrounds match. I won the first uh, round, lost the next two. Probably should have won round two, got impatient against the Terax with the uh, uh, Omega Red and then did horrible against the combination of putting down a defender that my opponent could use Archangel with and then <clears throat> fighting Super Scroll who I never want to fight again. Also, I, uh, I woke up with a uh, <clears throat> somewhat of congestion, so sorry if I sound like I'm finally hitting puberty. So, Battlegrounds is not what I assumed it would be. Uh... In regards to progression, it is currently being based off of matchups with deck strength. So, this reminds me of when we used to talk about the infinite streak in the arena. And years ago, you could always, and maybe you still do this, but you, you could always avoid those uh, infinite streak matches if you use like a rank five, five star, and two rank threes. So in this case, what happens if you put, let's say 12 of your best six stars in your deck, but then the rest one and two star champions, right? What happens if you stack your deck to where it's really top heavy, but then bottom pathetic? Well, Kabam is gonna add all that up apparently in their algorithm and they're going to give you a matchup with somebody who maybe, instead of having 12 six stars and the rest one and two stars, has, say, all rank three five stars. And obviously, if you're somebody who has a top heavy deck and you get uh, the defenders that you want, the six stars, you're still going to have the ability to have to have your opponent fight against rank three or even rank four six stars and you're getting to fight against low level five stars and so that opponent is screwed and is going to be in for a heck of a time in which it's basically like what the old alliance war rigging used to be too which is you just look at your defenders immediately and you're like i've lost so it doesn't surprise me that people have already figured out a way to uh trick the algorithm because that's the nature of this game and has been for years and probably always will be. But I did want to show you a couple of examples of this that were experiments for uh, the sake of experiments. So uh, first off, shout out to Richie007. I wasn't sure how I was going to get these in, but uh, he did send over his X7 um, exploration and got a six-star Kitty Pride, though it's no longer available. Six-star Shang-Chi... A six star Hercules. He had a good time. All right, so you can see uh, right here you've got five stars and six stars. These are pretty low rated, though. You know, 4,600 in terms of five stars. Um, you got a six star Gambit in there. Th this is not a great Battlegrounds deck. I don't think anybody would be looking at this and think. Boy, that's, uh, that's really going to get you places. But, at the same rate, because um, that person has consistent numbers of, say, 4,800 overall champions on the right side, they're expecting to fight somebody who has 4,800 overall champions. But because the algorithm has been tweaked, and, and sort of set up to be tricked, you're getting 13,000 Hercules still because it's taking into account for two-star Misty Knight. And so this poor guy on the right side has no shot. You know? Just, just no shot. And the fact that this is even a matchup that Kabam can allow to take place is an indictment over the matching system. The last time I really enjoyed Battlegrounds, it was because 
of the trophy token milestones and objectives just for attempting matchups. I knew that I was going to win probably 60% of the time. For every 10 matchups, I'd win 6 and lose 4. But if I played 10 matchups, I still got some amount of trophy tokens, even if it's just a couple hundred trophy tokens, for my effort. Well, now, in the objectives, it only rewards 5 wins every 2 days. And yes, I get that you have other uh, incentives to play, but I'm just looking at this, and my first thought is, not nah, dog, I'm good, I'm out. And I know that probably isn't impressive to the person who wants to be competitive in this, because if you're a YouTuber, you should just immediately want to do something. It doesn't matter if it's pay to win. It doesn't matter if their algorithm is, is rigged. Um, it, you should just want to do it. And yet, that's just not how I feel. Uh, and then seeing how the algorithm is now being rigged for certain people to, to to get easier matchups and to know that those people who are trying to play it fairly that are, say, Cavalier, are going up against Thronebreakers to no fault of their own because of the way that the matchups are set up, it just makes me not want to play it even more. So, Kabam, you need to fix this. And uh, if you've run into any other problems in Battlegrounds, let me know in the comments because... This is a live feature that is now in Season 1, and we need them to correct any shady stuff that's inevitably going to happen, including, of course, hackers, which are still out there. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And uh, good luck to everybody who's doing Battlegrounds today.